They waited for a week for the president to speak on the issue. But when the president finally discussed the incident, the fishermen of the Denver one came away disappointed. Romel Lopez tells us why. President Rodrigo Duterte finally broke his silence on direct to bank collision on Monday. That is a maritime incident. Wag kayo maniwala dyan sa mga politiko na bobo na gusto papunta yung, uh, papunta yung Navy. President Duterte says it was a maritime incident, not a political issue. The statement did not appease the crew of FB Jimber, who almost died at sea after being rammed by the Chinese vessel. Nalulungkot po ako doon sa sinabi ni Presidente na banggaan lang daw. Parang baliwala lang po sa kanya yung ganun. Dahil wala siguro namatay, kaya parang baliwala lang. Paano po kung namatay po kami lahat? The captain of FB Jimber says the boat was well lit. Contrary to the claims of the cook, who says the Chinese vessel hit them by accident because it did not see them. Ang lakas yung ilaw namin. May ilaw kami sa hulihan niya. Busa may taas ng, ng amarote. Tsaka sa unahan may ilaw. Tsaka mga bago po yung battery namin. The cook Richard Blasa also clarified his statement. He meant to say that he was not sure if it was an accident. May ilaw naman kami sa hulihan. Iba rin yung Kaya kanila maraming ilaw sa kanila, kaya mas maliwanag ang kanila, yun lang ang sabi ko doon. Ako lang po ang gising noon, pangyayari na yun, yun lang po, hindi ako nagsabing, mahirap din magsalita ako na ganito, na sinadya o hindi. Another crew member, JP Gordiones, recalls transferring to a smaller boat and leaving FB Jember. The crew tried to catch up to the Chinese vessel but failed. They continued to paddle out of the sea for two hours and covered five miles before the Vietnamese crew came to their rescue. Nagsasabi ko, Vietnam, help me, tulungan, nyo, tulungan mo kami. Mm. Tapos pinilagyan ko pa yung sagwana ko ng tubig para malaman po nila nalubog. Mm. Iniwan na nila yung bandira nila, pinabayaan na nila muna. Ang inuna niya muna kami. Tapos pagdating doon sa nakakit na po ako, pinakain, pinakain nila po kami. He says the crew almost died which is why he felt bad when the president reduced the ordeal to a mere maritime incident. Eh, kung hindi po yung sinasadya, dapat tinulungan, niya, tinulungan po kami ng China. Eh. Mm -hmm. Sinakay po rin kami din sa sakaya nila. Eh. Mm -hmm. Kung wala silang ano, tumulong na lang po sila kahit kung sinasadya lang man nila o kung hindi, mm -hmm. tumulong po sila dahil buhay po ang ano dyan ang ginapag-usapan. Eh. For now, all they want is to help the boat owner rebuild his ship hoping it will also rebuild their livelihood and their chances of securing a better future. For News 5, Romel Lopez, we are One News. Senators also took note of the president's subdued response to the Recto Bank incident, and opposition lawmakers even questioned the president's loyalty to the country. Melos Banyos with the story. Senator Ping Lacson was disappointed with President Duterte's statement in so-called maritime incident between Filipino fishermen and Chinese nationals at the Recto Bank. Lacson found the statement weak and seemingly defeatist. But really, it's really heartbreaking to hear from the President uh, na finally, uh, after one week or more than a week, nagsalita siya, tapos ganun pa yung natin. If we are weak, we should not advertise our weakness. Does it make uh, sense to you? Lakson calls the current approach to apparent Chinese bullying in the West Philippine Sea ineffective. So he suggests exploring the possibility of invoking the mutual defense treaty between our country and the U.S. Your mere presence of a uh, portion man lang ng Pacific fleet, ano, U.S. Pacific fleet, should be enough to uh, project a balance of power within the West Philippine Sea. So hindi pwedeng mag -iisip -iisip din yung China na basta na lang mambuli ng, uh, ng mga Filipino fishermen or mga membro ng ating Coast Guard or ng Philippine Navy. The senator is also confident that tapping the MDT will not result in war against China, contrary to Duterte's warnings. And when we uh, call on the United States to abide by the provisions of the Mutual Defense Treaty, it is not praying for World War III. No two superpowers would want to go to war because it is devastating.
Senator Franklin Delon says the focus should be on the Chinese crew's abandonment of the Filipino fishermen after the collision, not whether the collision itself was accidental. Delon says leaving the fishermen in distress is a clear admitted violation under the United Nations Maritime Law, the violation the government should press. Senator Kiko Pangilinan says the president appeared more in favor of China than the local fishermen, asking whether Duterte's statement was actually the stance of Chinese representative or agency. Senator Risa Ontiveros echoed Pangilinan just opposing the president's response to the Rectobank hit-and-run incident to inflammatory actions and statements Duterte has made towards women, the poor, and democracy advocates. Reporting for News 5, Me and Los Baños, we are One News.